Hey guys, I'm Kevin Zellman. I'm here with Ross Matthews. Oh my gosh, how did you book me? This is huge. I this mean, is a big deal for you. It was to say, you're pretty big, so I don't know how this Didn't happened, you find but me we're on excited. Twitter? How big am I? No, <laughs> please, please. Hi, I'm so glad to be doing it. Thank you very much. So uh -huh. you're used to interviewing all the celebrities, so yeah. we're kind of going to turn the tables on you a little bit. Okay. We're going to ask you some questions if you don't mind. Okay. So I can, I'm, I'm man enough for this. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Let's get into this one. So you have a podcast. I do. Called Straight Talk. It's called Straight Talk. It's LOLs and advice from the gay best friend you wish you had, you know you need. I give it to you straight. People call in. Well, straight as I can, honey. <laughs> but people call in. I give them advice. I, I also talk about my POV on pop culture, what I mm -hmm. think about the world. But it really is about being a friend, you know, and telling people things that sometimes your friend's family won't tell them. You're giving advice to these yeah, people as well. Yeah, what's going on in your life? You want to talk oh, about Oh, in you? my life. There's, <laughs> it's called school and work okay. in my life and absolutely nothing else. Well, that's good. That's what you should be focusing exactly. on now. Exactly. i got to stay focused, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so what is, would you say, the weirdest or strangest call you've had from one of your viewers well there are times when i mean people call in and it's so painfully clear that like they're making the wrong choice one woman called in is like i'm dating this guy there are you know some some red flags um he's a meth addict and he stabbed a guy and he's he's had multiple duis i'm like well, so that's, some red flags or yeah. a lot well now honey <laughs> there are some point like cases where you don't really need me to right. step in but even she needed a little helping hand and i gave it to her I, you know, like a, like a gentle smack. Exactly. What are you thinking, honey? Right, just a little right on the palm of your hand, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So along with that, you're also going to be a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. Isn't that huge? Are you so excited for that? You know, I love this show. If you guys watch the show, you know it's like all about celebration. Who You know, who you want to be, do you, honey, have fun. And I've loved this show. I would watch from my living room, and I would talk at the TV, and no one heard me. And so I got to be a guest judge a couple seasons, mm -hmm. and then they finally put a ring on it. They put me on this year full-time. I'll be a judge. Every other episode of the season. Carson Cressley from mm -hmm. Queer Eye uh, for the Straight Guy, he and I are sharing that judge's seat. Or you've been on the red carpet for all the award shows. Uh, every award show in the history of award shows, I am there, standing there. Wh which is your most favorite? Oh, that's really tough. I mean, because they're all so different. You know, the Golden Globes are kind of like the kickoff mm -hmm. for the, the movie award season. So it's really exciting, and they get so drunk. So that's fun. The Grammys are fun because it's music people. You only get to see them once or twice a year, mm -hmm. and they get so high. So that's fun. <laughs> and then, uh, but the Oscars is it. The Oscars is the um, the mothership. Oh, yeah. It doesn't uh, get more glam than that. It doesn't get more glam, except the Oscars always make me a little sad because it means I have to wait like another year for the award season to come around. And as a super fan, that kind of bums me out. I'm, I'm with you because I think Oscars are my favorite award show, but also my least favorite because that means there's nothing else after. It's like Christmas Day where you're like, oh, my God, it's Christmas Day. But, oh, no, there's 365 days till Christmas Day again. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Oh, 100%. I'm, yeah. I'm up for the nominations at 5 a.m. Uh, I Ditto. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I don't go. I go hard for award season. When I was um, younger, like in um, middle school, uh, I bought a towel at the Salvation Army. It was a red towel, and I would put it on the front porch, and my friends would come over to watch the Oscars and walk the red carpet. And we'd take pictures with like you guys, oh you kids God. don't remember this, but there were little can't disposable cameras where you have to like wind it to do it right. I, I remember those. Trust yeah. me. <laughs> so I have been from that red towel discount towel red carpet to the actual red carpet. I'm living the dream. Does does it get old after a while going to all the award shows and seeing all these people? No. No? No. Who who's your like, <laughs> no. who's your standout person this season? Oh God. Well, you know, there last year, like remember it was Lapita Bignango, mm -hmm. fashion wise. She just made a name for herself. She became a star, an Oscar winner. This year it's been about Julianne Moore. Really about her sort of being um uh, solidifying herself as a legend, mm -hmm. and she's going to win that Oscar, and she's oh, just yeah. been so classy on the carpets. It's really been and what, what I find interesting is, I mean, she's a huge actress. Mm. It's going to be her first Oscar if she wins. Yeah, she's been nominated a ton, but never won. And at first, I was like, I roll. They're just giving it to her because, like, she has like never won. And then right. I saw Still Alice, and she deserves it. She's oh, really great. One hundred percent. That really was, great. I think, one of my top movies of the season. It's really it was great. really great. Mm -hmm. What What's been a career highlight for you? I mean, you've done so much. What's been like the one thing? That just stands out the most. This. <laughs> no. I, uh, <laughs> we love it. <laughs> no, this is an honor. But, uh, you know, hosting my own show, mm -hmm. having the, my name on the building and in lights, that was a big, big milestone. And that was Hello Ross on E. Mm -hmm. And now, really, hosting this podcast is so great because it's so intimate. You know, you, you guys call, I talk to you. It's real, real, real. There are no censors telling me I can't say certain words or things. There's no pushback if I have an opinion that's not popular. You know, 
I'm 35 now, which sounds like 100. I get it. But there is like, <laughs> it's at this intersection of um, really being in my own skin and really having an opportunity to say whatever I want. Mm -hmm. That's so special. Yeah. Everyone, go, you download Straight Talk with Ross on iTunes. It's free. I understand you're, you're in college. Oh, yes. It's free. Can't get much better than that. What else do you want? You're uh, welcome. If it's well. free, it's for me, right? Yes. That's that's the saying, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So you started out. We're gonna take it back a little bit. As Ross, the intern on the Tonight Show, I did. And now, and look at you now. What what was that process like for you? Well, I started. I've always wanted to be in uh, um, television, interviewing the stars. And I came from a very small farm town. And then I moved to LA for college. And I was uh, I magically got this internship at the Tonight Show, working for free. And then uh, backstage one day, they said, "Would you want to be?" Would you want to go cover uh, Ocean's Eleven premiere back in the oh, day? Wow. This is 2001. And, and I remember in that moment thinking, this is my chance. Do it big. Um, seize your opportunity. From obtaining internships, we, we were talking about this before, and networking, what's the biggest advice that you have for USC students? Well, the biggest advice that I have is be nice to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, show up early. Stay late. Right? Work hard. Always. And don't complain. Our, our last two questions are pop culture, like a speed round. Go. So first one, we all want to know, are Beyonce and Jay-Z getting a divorce? No. Perfect. I they're like not. That answer. I'm not an authority on that, but I don't want to live in a world where they're not together. That's Is that not what I say? And I say it all the time. Look at the Grammys recently. He was in the front row cheering her on. Would you do that if you're going through a divorce? No. Right, and she thanked her husband. I know. I think they're and good. who would divorce Beyonce? I mean, if, if she does, I'm available to be, just so yeah, you know. Yeah, me too. Right? And then lastly, who's Taylor Swift's new boyfriend, or next boyfriend, I should say? Uh, honey, it might be us. Watch out. I don't know, but good news, we're getting a song written about us. Hey. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. This is awesome. So, everyone, make sure you download for free on iTunes Straight, Straight Talk. Talk with Ross. You can go to straighttalkwithross.com. Perfect. And, you know, the story I talked about getting that internship and how that mm -hmm. happened and all that stuff and seizing that opportunity, I think it's a good book for kids to read is my book, Man Up. It's a bestseller. Perfect. No big deal. Uh, Gwen Gwyneth Paltrow wrote the forward. Chelsea Handler wrote oh, the afterwards. No big. Uh, but it's all, all about that moment where you where you get that kind of opportunity to, to live your dream and mm -hmm. seize it. And then also we have to make sure that everyone watches RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, yeah. March 2nd is the premiere. Every Monday we're on. It's a great season. All three of my chins fell every moment, <laughs> jaw-dropping moments, and uh, you'll really love it. And then the red carpets. I was just going to say, red carpets, You mm -hmm. ha who, if you don't watch it, they're not our friends, first of all. Yeah, of course. Uh, you're, you're dead to me if you don't watch. Exactly. Can <laughs> I say you did a really good job? Thank you. Is that, this what you want to do? This is what I want to do, yes. Please. I really appreciate Can that. Can we have a round of applause for him? Congratulations. Nice Thank job. Thank you. Thank you very much, You everyone. back there behind the camera. Great job, too. Vanessa, always Thank working you. hard. Thank you, honey. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, wait, wait. No. And follow oh. me on Twitter and Instagram at Hello Ross. There right? Because I'm fun and I post pictures of my dogs. I follow you, I see him, and I like him. Do you think I'm old? Like, do you do consider I, me, you were no. eight when I started in Leno? Am I old to you? I, 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 old I do them? not think you're old. So I you feel are not like old. really hip and young and cool. Like, now you made me feel old, but now I, now you made me not feel Good, old. Good, so because you're you. not old. I can guarantee that. We can wrap